I'm Allie from East Point Sports, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your competitive volleyball and competitive badminton set. The assembly for these games is exactly the same. Let's get started with badminton. So we've taken everything out of the box. We're going to set our accessories aside for the moment, and we're going to get started. We'll start with our poles. You have two scoring poles, two bottom poles, marked in red, and two top poles, marked in blue. You want to assemble all three poles together. But first, slip your scoring ring onto the bottom of the scoring pole and slide it down so it meets the numbers. Once you put your scoring rings on, you can move on to assembling your top pole. This is the pole that has the two keyholes on one side and a hole and a keyhole on the other side. Take the fatter end, which is marked in blue, and push it on to the top of the scoring pole. When doing so, you want to be sure that the side with the two keyholes is on the same side as the scoring. Repeat for the other side. Next, attach your bottom poles by pushing them into the bottom of the scoring pole. Next, we're going to attach our key locks, starting with the bottom two holes. You want to push it in and twist it so the hook is facing down. Then twist your pole and insert another key into the bottom key lock. Again, twisting so the hook is facing down. Next, place two tension adjusters over the top of the poles. Be sure to place the hook on the opposite side of the scoring. Next, we're going to insert two top key locks onto each pole. Push in and twist so the hooks are facing up. So now we have our two completed poles and we're ready to attach the net. Once the net is laid out, you'll need a pole at each end. Attach the top and bottom loops and place the cap on top of the pole. Next, take your bottom string and thread it through the hole under the hook. Once the string is through, take your adjuster ball and thread the string through the small hole in the ball. Once the ball is through, tie a knot midway for your string. Slide your adjuster ring down the pole and thread your ball and string through the hook. Repeat this process for the top adjuster ring, sliding your hook down to make it tight. Repeat this process for the pole on the other side. Once your net is attached, insert your pole stabilizer into the bottom of the pole and push it into the ground. Repeat this process for the other side. It helps if you have someone to hold the pole up while you do this. Now that our net is up, we're ready to install our guide ropes. Using your center guide rope, which only has one stake at the bottom, take the loop and hook it to the bottom hook and place it in the ground at a 45 degree angle in line with the net, leaving a little slack so you can tighten it as needed with the tension adjuster. Next, you'll take your tripod guide ropes with two stakes on the bottom. Once again, find the loop on the end and place it over the top hook. You'll wanna walk these strings out at a 45 degree angle behind and in front of the center stake. Once again, leave some slack so you can adjust the tension. Repeat this process for the other side. Now that we have the whole net assembled, we can adjust the net as needed with the adjustment rings on each side. So there you have it. Now you're ready to play.
So here we have the competitive volleyball net. As you can see, the net and the poles are a lot bigger, but the assembly is exactly the same as the badminton set. Have fun!